you for joining today's Words of Wisdom with Raya. May all of you be happy every day with Lord Alcantara. Today's Words of Wisdom is The Laws of Eternity, the movie. Have you ever watched The Laws of Eternity? The film. Uh, let me introduce the story of the movie, The Laws of Eternity, from the official site. This is the movie of Master Ryuho Okawa. The Laws of Eternity. In this spiritual adventure, two high school students, Ryuta and Yuko, invent a communication device and travel to the multidimensional spirit world with their friends. Through their experiences, they learn the secrets of the afterlife and the truth of the spirit world. The mystical truth of the ninth dimension is revealed on screen in this film for the first time in human history. So, this movie reveals the secret of the afterlife, the other world. Is there anyone who won't die? No one, right? So, this must be a big help for all of you as a guidebook of the afterlife. No harm in knowing. We are the existences of through this world and the afterworld, and our essence is the soul. And we set a life plan before we are born and aiming for the spiritual growth. So even experiences we may consider as unfortunate can be actually well planned by our own selves as a part of spiritual training. By overcoming difficulties, we can polish ourselves and we can enjoy the spiritual growth, actually. And the death is just uh, the graduation of this world. Our soul leaves the body when we are dead and departs to the other world. The other world is very huge, and of course, there are heaven and hell. Then. How can we know that we go to heaven or we go to hell? Master Okawa teaches us like this. In the same way that heaven and hell exist in the other world, there is a heavenly way and the hellish way of le leading one's spiritual life. The state of mind maintained in this world is what determines whether people will go to heaven or hell in the afterlife. The state of mind signifies the stage of enlightenment. What or how one thinks will directly determine where one will go after death. In other words, if your mind is now attuned to hell, it is where you will go after death. Whereas, if your mind is attuned to heaven, that is your determination. In the same way, if you have a mind of a bodhisattva, you will return to the bodhisattva realm. So, the state of mind you now have while alive indicates where you will go in the afterlife. There is consistency between this world and the other. Happy Science teaches this by encouraging people to try to achieve happiness that will carry over from this world to the next. That is why we instruct people to always seek the good or correct way of life. So, all we need to know is that the soul lives on after we are dead, even after we are dead, 
and that our state of mind is carried over to the other world. And when you know this, the way of living must be changed. And if you want to know more about this topic in detail with exciting and dynamic animation, please watch this movie, The Laws of Eternity by Master Ryuho Okawa. Okay, now uh, let us recite Happy Science Prayer together. Lo El Cantare, Master Riho Kawa, thank you very much for giving us your great light every day. We practice the principles of happiness, love, wisdom, self-reflection and progress to make the world better with our brothers and sisters. With our gratitude, we will recite the two words spoken by Buddha, prayer to the Lord, and prayer to guardian and guiding spirits. The two words spoken by Buddha, Ryuho Okawa. There used to be the light in the great universe. The light is the energy of Buddha. People can live by this energy and Buddha's energy has made human history. It will be supplied eternally. This eternal light comes from heaven and prevails on earth. This is the light of heaven. Through the prism of Buddha, there appeared the seven colors of rainbow arching over in the sky. Here you can see Buddha's mercy. Yellow is the color of teaching. White is the color of saving. Red is the color of justice. Purple is the color of obedience. Blue is the color of thinking. Green is the color of harmony. Silver is the color of progress. These seven colors help each other, and there appears Buddha Lamb. Buddha Lamb is shining brightly because of gathering of bodhisattvas. This is the land of love or the land of mercy. This is the land of wisdom or the land of teaching. Especially, this is the land of souls rest in peace. Real souls are the children of Buddha. The children of Buddha became real human beings. Real human beings have spirituality. The spirits are immortal powers. The spirits are immortal forces. The spirits are real entities. The physical bodies are the shadows of the spirits. It means you are the boat sailing down the great river. The great river is the symbol of the course of light. Each of you sails down as a small boat, so you need a boatman. If it were not for your own boatman, you surely go aground. This boatman really means your mind. If your mind makes a mistake, the boat breaks into pieces by a large rock. And you also need a bamboo pole. This pole is the meaning of the two words. When you go down a rapid stream, you need to punt in a stream. Then you can change your course. The two words means the teaching of Buddha. Buddha enlightened and spoke the two words. And Buddha's teaching became a gold mine. This gold mine suggests various teachings. These are another expression of Buddha's truth. It brightens up your days, or, to put it another way, the fruits of Buddha's mercy. All of you, now here, listen to me. Never lose your way, now and forever. The guiding hand has already waved. Please follow this white hand, 
and go straightly on and on. Your lives are not limited to this world only. They have three aspects, the past, the present, the future. Your pasts have already gone by, yet still your mistakes will be kept in your minds. That is the reason why you should understand other people and you yourself should reflect on what you have done. You and others are not different. On the contrary, both are children of Buddha and brothers and sisters. Now then, love each other, let us bring up each other, and it's time to forgive each other. This is the eternal law which penetrates the present and the future. Yes, indeed, the light of the dark night, the dark night of this world is hell. It is also the same in another world. Since we came down to this world, the sun of the tooth is scheduled to rise. Now we are watching rising sun. It will shed light to the future, to invite sad people to Buddha land. Now here I command, there shall not be conflict in this world. There shall not be distrust in this world. There shall not be crime in this world. There shall not be evil spirit in this world. There shall not be the devil in the next world. Only the ideal world, utopia, shall be realized. All of the people love each other, live harmoniously, believe in one another. That world is utopia. All of us could be the light of bodhisattvas. Believe in that the light has reality. Believe in that love has reality. Believe in that the truth has reality. These are the facts that should be conveyed. We, the light of bodhisattvas, get together, work together to keep right mind and live in tune with Buddha's words. Here we vow to do so. Prayer to the Lord, our Lord Alcantara, you are the source of all light, all power, all wisdom, and all love. May you give us light, give us power, give us wisdom, and give us love. O oh Lord, our Father, please protect this planet of love earth, protect us from all evil, and open a future for us. O oh Lord, thank you for giving us light. We give thanks from the bottom of our hearts. Prayer to Guardian and Guiding Spirits My Guardian and Guiding Spirits, deep inside of me, you are the fountain of life, the light of hope, the source of wisdom and a shoot of courage. Every day, may you help me develop my soul and refine my mind. Every day, may you give me inspiration and show me the right path to follow. Please protect me from all evil and guide me in living a better life. For this, I give my thanks. Thank you for joining. Have a wonderful day.